people, 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 people. Que pasa, sac pasa, what they do. Now the first part of this video is about a disturbing trend that we see going on in the Caribbean, specifically Jamaica. With sometimes you got to work hard, you work a double shift. And then when you come home, you realize that somebody kind of invade your space. Them basically broke into your house and take whatever don't belong to them. And you feel so violated. So anyway, I am going to let you see a clip. And then I am going to explain how you can make your premises much safer. So therefore, you don't get violated once again, one more again. So take a listen, take a look at this video, and then we'll go from there. Now, people, what we see is a little snake, a little two-foot puss, a slither through the people them grill. Just imagine that you notice him force open the bottom of the grill, and him make making way in like a little snake, like a little puss. Now watch the man of the people them place, people. Alright, you see, it is on a closed circuit TV and the video is not as clear, but we can see exactly what is going on. We can hear him inside the house as scramble up things and look for goodies. Now, people, just imagine that. You go work every day, you work hard for your things, and the next little man just take five minutes for broken your house and take basically what does not belong to him. We are speaking about violation. Now, here you see him again now coming out with a little bag and see, the same way him going is the same way he is basically reversing the process. You see him bend the grill at the bottom there, so you see he is forcing it open. So people, what we see is a fault in this grill. We see that it is not reinforced properly because obviously there is too much space for somebody with a thief in intention for basically dry it out and force him way between it. So see, he might put outside the thing then when him get the proceeds of his crime. He is going between the grills once again. See him slide through like a little snake, like a little two foot post. People, this is so disturbing. People, this is so much of a violation. So seeing there right now almost out, see him force him way out. It's a pity him couldn't get hooking at the grill right between him neck. You understand? I'm basically suffocate. So see him there now. He might pick up him bag like him go shopping. There he goes. Look like a little crackhead. So you see a lady now across the street and him basically spot says she see him. So you see the lady is kind of walking towards him and him a kind of plate off. Now people. When we look on them things, eh, it make we mad. It make we feel like, say, what is really going on in our island? It seems like some people, them find the best way, them find the most creative way for broken our place. Now, people, when we watch this video, we see how creative, how resourceful people are. But the problem is that they are not being resourceful in doing positive things. It is always negativity. It seems like it is always finding a way to get things the easy way. It is never about getting a job application, being resourceful in getting a job application, getting a skills, getting a trade. Enrolling yourself in some sort of school, some sort of technical school. Because people, the truth and the fact is that life is not fair and everybody was not born bright. Everybody was not born with this big brain. But at the end of the day, we are speaking about ambition. At the end of the day, you have to basically play life or play the cards that you are given in life. So that means that the less that you get is the harder that you have to work. That is the moral of the story. However, we see that certain people in society, they are dead set in getting things the easy way. And people like me say, it is just a matter of time before the law catches up on them. And then there's a next thing in the video that I realized. I realized that somebody, it looks like a neighbor, was basically walking towards the criminal and people. That is a mistake. And people, when we think about things, we have to be our brother's keeper and we have to also look out for our neighbors. But we have to also ask ourselves the question, 
if you get killed or get hurt in the line of protecting your neighbor's property, is he going to take care of your responsibility? Is he going to take care of your kids and Rete and Lele? And if the answer to that is no, then you know, sir, you have to call the police. Leave it up to the law. Leave it up to the popo. Now, one of the things that I noticed while watching that video is that there was a big time flaw in the burglar bar because if you notice, the man could have used some force and basically slide him away between the two burglar bars and people. That is not good. So therefore, if you have a burglar bar upon your house, so you want to basically make sure that it is reinforced. We are talking about with metal. We are talking about with a chain. We are talking about with a padlock. Because obviously we see that that is the way most of the burglar bars are done in Jamaica and in the Caribbean island. So there is a message and a moral to this video and that is that you should make sure that you secure your property. You should make sure that you secure your personal belongings or you too will become a victim and that is something that you do not want especially when you work very hard for your stuff point blank and period. So anyway people that is my views and opinion on this situation and like I said before it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section. So the next thing that is popping in the news, we see that the Popo arrested six men from Old Arbor in Freetown, Clarendon. So basically, the Popo set up a little sting, them set up a little traffic blocking, them set up a little roadblock. So after them set up the roadblock, them basically pull over two vehicles. We are speaking about a Pro Box and we are also speaking about an AV wagon. So according to the report is that after them searched the AV wagon, they found a Uzi submachine gun. They found over 480 rounds of ammunition and also 4,000 US dollars. So now people, tell me if these people are coming from work or tell me if they are coming off a move, if they are coming off a criminal activity because it is quite obvious. The report also stated that after they searched the Pro box motor car and they asked the occupants for identification. It was realized that the four occupants were from the same neighborhood in Old Arbor, which is the same neighborhood as the other two men in the AV wagon. So, people, we see that it is more than a coincidence. We see that they were also on a mission. And also, according to the police officers, it was said that the Pro Box motor car was used as a pilot vehicle. So, people, what that basically means is that when these criminals are going on an operation, they have somebody to drive in front of them in case there is a roadblock and Rete and Lele. So, therefore, they can make the people them behind them know exactly what is going on. So, people, we see that these criminals from Old Arbor was going on a mission. And we also see that this was also a giant police and JDF military operation their own mission so therefore two mission buck up and somebody is going to jail point blank and period so people will see that these men realize that there's a state of emergency so therefore they were prepared just in case but only this time it did not work out in their favor so anyway, people like me say, we have to always applaud the police when they can take some criminal off of the road, whenever they can take some guns off the road. It is always a good thing. So anyway, people, let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that a popular taxi man was slapped away in Southfield in St. Elizabeth. Now the name of the person that lost his life is Domain Day. He is 36 year old and he is from St. Elizabeth. And according to the police report, it is said that two men rode up on a bike and basically came to a car. And he basically passed away upon the spot. R.I.P. Gone too soon. And next man. So now people with Sister St. Elizabeth is kind of getting out of hand. We see that St. Elizabeth has become one of the hot spots in Jamaica. We are talking about Kingston, St. Andrew South. We are talking about Clarendon. We are talking about St. James. We are talking about Westmoreland. You understand? It seems like St. Elizabeth has also become the wild, wild west. We are talking about Junction. Because people like me say, your sister, these people are getting desperate and they are partially none. Nobody is immune from the crime and violence that is going on in Jamaica. And like them say, this man was supposed to be a popular taxi man. That means uh, everybody knows him 
all over the place, all over St. Elizabeth Junction, Ray T and Lele. So people like me say, you can hope for the best but always expect the worst because just when you think that it is peace and safety, you just end up losing life. So like we see, if somebody like this that is supposed to be held in high esteem can get slapped away. So what is the chance for the regular man? Zero to nothing. So anyway, people like me say, we see exactly what is going on as it pertains to that. And it is just another day in paradise in Jamaica, point blank and period. So anyway, people, let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.